Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm back with the series Spider-Man Cinematic Universe Phase 5. Let's get into this. Now, I am very excited to do this phase because it is probably my favourite phase. This is something really important I'd like to say before we start. I'd like to give a shout out to Lewis Fiction and slash Lewis Films. Um, he does video essays on Lewis Films. He does fan fictions on Lewis Fiction, and then he has another channel called Lewis um, News, which is him talking about Spider-Man news. Uh, so I would definitely recommend to go watch some of his videos, um, because a lot of the stuff that I have, uh, I'm about to speak today, is based off his ideas. So thank you, and uh, let's get into this video. Phase 5, I'd like to call this the Spider-Verse. The first film in this phase will be called Spider Morales. 12-year-old Miles Morales gets his spider powers. It's very similar um, kind of way he gets his powers to Peter Parker. We are also introduced in this film to Miles Warren, who has been hiding since a certain incident, um, which we will later find out. He has been tinkering with the spider that beat Peter Parker and has upgraded it. Silver Sable is broken out of prison by Miles Warren. Silver Sable wants revenge on Spider-Man and mistakes Miles for Peter as Spider-Man. Miles' best friend in this film is Ganky, who will find out he's Spider-Man in this film. His dad dies in an attack on Silver Sable during a police event, very similar to how Miles' dad died in Spider-Man, Insomniac Spider-Man. Miles hates being Spider-Man, but decides he has to stop, stop Silver Sable. We have a very similar scene uh, than in Spider-Man uh, Into the Spider-Verse, where he's swinging through the city at night. I love that scene so much and I really wanted to include it in live action form. He beats Silver Sable and arrests her. The after credits of this film is Spider-Man, aka Peter Parker, watching the news about the new Spider-Man around town. The next project in this phase is Spider-Man Through the Multiverse. This movie starts five years after the events of spider Morales, 29 year old, Peter Parker has broken up with Black Cat. Now he's married to MJ. Peter owns a business called Parker Industries and is a business owner. Peter also works at a local middle school. MJ is a big time Hollywood star. He meets Miles often and now they're kind of the spider duo. Peter has many brand new suits he has made with his company. They're very advanced suits. Miles and Aunt May work at Feast. The spider duo in the beginning of the movie would get into a fight with Jackal, who in the past five years was a man called Miles Warren, who then became the Jackal. They would obviously win and arrest him. Dr. My My Michael Morbius is a scientist, and he's trying to find a cure for himself because he's the living vampire. He teams up with Jackal, who hunts down and captures a hero named America Chavez. Morbius has found out that he could find a cure in the multiverse. Spider-Man and Miles heard that America Chavez has been captured, so they head to a secret lab. But while experimenting with America, it goes wrong and a multiverse portal is now unexpe unexpectedly opened. Morbius falls into the portal in a rush. Morbius gets stuck by himself in Earth 833, Spider-Man UK's universe. Spider-Man falls through behind and lands in Earth 928, which is Spider-Man 2099's universe. America then falls through and lands in the same universe as Spider-Man. Miles, not knowing what to do, immediately jumps through right behind to help Peter. Peter does not notice that Miles has came up behind. Miles lands in Earth 982, an animated universe with Scarlet Spider and Peter Parker and Miles Morales dead. Back in our universe, Jackal goes in hiding. Morbius is forced to look for the cure and is hoping it may be in this universe. 
Spider-Man from our universe thinks a team up with Spider-Man 2099. Spider-Man 2099 agrees and they begin to find a way to open a multiverse portal. America struggles to use her powers on command, very similar to how she can't control them in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Miles Morales is in animation style and is super confused. He needs to find the Spider-Man of, of this universe he has travelled to. Miles finds the Scarlet Spider and asks for help. Miles is so scared. He feels electricity in his body and all of a sudden he finds out that he can control lightning. Now, I did not explain all his powers in the first movie, but yes, this would be introduced in this movie. Miles just wants to get home and is pretty freaked out. Scarlet Spider says to calm down and he's sure that they can find a way to open a portal. But he also says that Miles could use that electricity power in many different cool ways. Morbius has run into Spider-Man UK. Spider-Man UK demands to have a rematch with Morbius. Without knowing this is not the Morbius from Spider-Man UK's universe, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099 and America Chavez have run into Electro. We cut between the two battles, Morbius' Morbius's battle um, and Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099 and America Chavez's battle. America begins to get super scared until the movie finishes. The after credits of this film is Jackal breaking out Mysterio out of prison. The next project of this phase <clears throat> is a five episode short TV show called Spidey Fun Shorts. So this show would be the beginning of the five year gap that we didn't get to see anything of. First episode would basically be just a, a little bank robbery episode called The Robbery. Then uh, episode two would be Electro back in town. They fight Le Electro. And episode three would be called The Painting. And I would only have Miles fight Black Cat in this. To, who She steals the painting. Episode four would be called We Interrupt the Show. Which is Miles celebrating Christmas with his mum. While trying to keep his identity safe. Then episode five would be the octopus, which is the spider duo fighting Doc Ock. The next project is a TV show called Spider-Man Noir Season 1. 31-year-old Peter Parker has been Spider-Man for many years. He is from another universe. This one is all black, white and grey. His love interest is MJ and he is married to her. He is a detective Spider-Man and... His biggest enemy is Hammerhead. This Spider-Man has been through everything. The death of Gwen Stacy, for every villain and more. There is many There are many villains that appear in the show, like Electro, Rhino, Vulture. <clears throat> but Hammerhead is, the biggest, is his bi biggest nemesis because he killed Peter's parents and the first love of his life, who is Gwen Stacy. Hammerhead is working for a mystery character. This, ep this show would be 12 episodes. And in the 12th episode, after credits, we'll find out who the one behind this is all. Hammerhead is working for the Green Goblin. We'll only hear his voice, but we'll know it's him. The second to last project in this phase is a movie called The Ghost Spider. 13-year-old Gwen Stacy is from another universe. She would get her spider powers... The villain is the vulture who would be a girl, Tiana Toombs. Vulture would be arrested. We are introduced to a young Wilson Fisk uh, at the age of like 25, who is working at the police force with Captain Stacy, who is Gwen's father. Gwen's father will be murdered at an attack Vulture did on a bank, which will push Gwen's character to become a hero and protect the people. Near the end of the film, we see a rageful side of Gwen. She almost impales the vulture, but realise what her dad said. With great power comes great responsibility. Not mentioned it, <clears throat> but throughout this film, Gwen would play the drums, like she did in Spider-Verse. At the end, we also will see that um, it, it's a new year at her school. She has no friends, so hates school. She meets Peter Parker who just moved from LA. 
They don't talk, but Gwen likes him. After months, you've waited for this film. The final film, Spider-Man, Spider-Verse Breakthrough. 29-year-old Peter Parker. Morbius finds a new power. He can take other superheroes' powers. He sucks out Spider-Man UK's powers, and Spider-Man UK is now a normal human. Morbius runs away and learns all his new powers. We have a scene where he's experimenting with his new powers. Morbius has decided he is officially a villain. He doesn't care about anyone else, and he only wants stuff for himself. He's selfish. Miles has nothing else to do rather than fight some crime with the Scarlet Spider. They run into a ginormous version of Tombstone. They interrupted by Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099, and America Chavez falling through a multiverse portal. Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099, Miles, Scarlet Spider, and America Chavez are all in Earth 982 in animation style. They all get distracted by seeing each other again that Tombstone has broken five skyscrapers. They then realise and destroy Tombstone. Spider-Man says they all need to stick together to stop Morbius. They train America to travel through the multiverse. We cut to Jackal with Mysterio causing chaos. Jackal and Mysterio <clears throat> blow up Peter and um, Aunt May's house. Peter and the other Spider-Man teleport back to their homes to check on their Earth. We only get to see our Spider-Man return home. Matt Murdock, a.k.a. Daredevil, has arrested Jackal and Mysterio in the raft. Many people have died. MJ is okay and she tells Peter that she is pregnant. Peter is thrilled but is worried about being a father. He is a memory of Gwen and Felicia but realises something. He realises that MJ is the love of his life and no one can replace her. We see flashbacks to MJ and Peter's relationship. It will be an emotional moment. These flashbacks will be from the first time they met to now, so basically the five-year gap. And Peter is then told Aunt May is dying. The Parker house blew up. She only has 24 hours to live. Peter is sad, happy, angry, and excited. All his emotions are mixed to one. He leaves his universe with a heartbreaking goodbye to May and MJ. They travel universes till they find out which one Morbia is in. They get to Earth 833, Spider-Man UK's universe. They are all now in live action and in the same universe as Morbius. Everyone is all geared up to ready to battle. Morbius has taken many other superheroes' powers and is unstoppable to defeat with only five heroes. Spider-Man 2099 says they should recruit other Spider-Man across the multiverse. They land in Earth 65 Ghost Spider's universe. They recruit Ghost Spider. They land in Earth 138 Spider Punk's universe. They recruit him and leave. We cut to Morbius having most of the superheroes of Earth 833 powers. He has thoughts. He thought, what if he recruits all the supervillains of Spider Man? of that universe to cause destruction. He recruits many and they cause chaos. They land in Earth 13, Spider-Man Cosmic Universe. They have a huge scene where they're recruiting a ton of Spider-Man and women across the multiverse. We see that Miles and Spider-Ham have came up with a team name, Team Spider-Verse. Peter says that's ridiculous. Ghost Spider joins in too on Peter's side. We cut to Aunt May in hospital in the hospital bed with MJ. Aunt May just had a dream. She says it was probably her last dream. MJ says not to be silly, but she also says what her dream was about. Aunt May responds with her perfect life with Ben, if Ben was still here. He cut. We cut to Spider the Team Spider Verse. They have one more universe to travel to. They travel to Earth 12131, Superior Spider-Man's universe. They recruit him and head to Earth 833, which they know is Spider-Man UK's universe and know 
that's where Morbius is. When they arrive, Morbius and his crew are waiting. F-833 has become a depressing, miserable, broken world. Sandman, F-833, pushes all the Spider-Men and women into a deep hole full of lava and caves. Vulture, F-833, swoops in and takes America. Vulture comes straight to Morbius. Morbius demands her to travel through the multiverse with him and gather all the Spider-Men villains. They travel through the multiverse and recruit all of Spider-Man's villains. Morbius and his crew teleport F-833. We have the epic battle. Now, I'm not going to go into context with this battle, but basically, you know what it's like. It's like the endgame battle with your Spider-Man characters. Um, but there is something that big happens in this um, battle. Um, Morbius sends out the craziest and strongest Rhino. Spider-Man jumps in to fight Rhino, but Miles grabs him and runs. They look behind them and Ghost Spider is sacrificing herself to save everyone. She has a green goblin glider. Peter runs as fast as he can towards Gwen. And begins to shout, not again. Rhino uses his horn and impales Gwen. Peter jumps in, not long after Miles too. Peter and Miles kill Rhino with the Green Goblin's glider. We have an emotional scene where Peter can't lose another Gwen. They win the battle and many villains die. But also throughout the battle, Morbius kills a lot of the Spider-Men because he can suck their powers away. Now the end of the battle and everyone goes home. But we do immediately cut to Miles with Daredevil, and they have found something strange. One of the Venom symbiotes from the final battle has travelled back to their universe with them. They keep it in a container and hand it into the raft. Peter rushes to the hospital, and Aunt May is dying. Peter shows up as Spider-Man. Aunt May says, can she see her nephew? We realise Aunt May knew Peter was Spider-Man all along. Aunt May and Peter have an emotional scene and Aunt May dies and the screen fades to black. It says two years later, Peter is 28 years old. Peter goes to Aunt May and Ben's grave and gives them both a flower. Peter goes home to MJ and his child, who is a girl. Peter looks at all the pictures of everyone he's seen over his journey of Spider-Man. The movie closes with Peter taking off his costume and says, can I rest now? I didn't think that this series would have continued. I thought when I started it, it was only going to be phase one. But then I saw the support that phase one got and I continued the series and I'm very happy I did because over the past few months, I've been writing that last movie specifically, and that took me forever, but it was such a fun thing to do. So I'm very happy um, that this series hasn't hasn't just been me um, making videos and it not being very well received. So overall, thank you. But there is something I do need to announce. This series isn't over. This series will be another five phases only if you guys do want it to continue i might just do them for the sake of it even if it's not well well received um because i love this so much but this next five phases is basically about miles if you're interested in seeing that and i might do an extra phase so another six phases possibly um, so let me know if you guys would like to see that. And let me know your ranking of the phases down below. I know this will be some of your guys' favourite phase, phase 5. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.